particle's radius vector is given as r vector is equal to a vector into t into 1 minus alpha t. A is a constant vector and alpha is positive constant. We need to find the velocity and acceleration of the particles in vector form as a function of time. And time interval it takes for the particle to return to its initial point and the distance traveled during the process. So let's do the easy part first, find the velocity vector and the acceleration vector. So r vector is given and because a vector is constant, we can just differentiate it to get the velocity vector and differentiate it again to get the acceleration vector. Now, because its motion, see its motion is one dimension. Why? Because you can see all three are parallel to a vector. So, it's a motion in one dimension as position, velocity and acceleration are all parallel to each other. So, we can write the equations as r is equal to a t 1 minus alpha t and v is equal to a 1 minus 2 alpha t. So because it's a one dimensional motion, let's remove the vector terms from everywhere and just write the magnitudes. Now, particle is at origin when r is equal to 0. That happens at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1 by alpha. You just put r is equal to 0 and you will get two values of t. So at t is equal to 0, the particle was at rest and then it moves and comes back and then again it crosses the origin. So delta t, so time interval between these two events is 1 by alpha. Now he is asking the distance covered. So it moved forward and then it came back because the acceleration is constant. Which means if we take the forward most point, if we just double it, that is the distance covered. So at what time the particle reached its forward most, most position? It happened when velocity was 0. So if you put velocity as 0, you will get t is equal to 1 by 2 alpha. So at 1 by 2 alpha, the particle reached its maximum uh, position before it turned back. So if you put t is equal to 1 by 2 alpha in the first equation, you will get the maximum displacement of the particle. Two times of that, because it goes forward and comes back, that will be our distance traveled. So we put the value of t is equal to 1 by 2 alpha in r, so that is the forward distance traveled. Two times that, that is our answer.